Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we went on a nice little hike to a place called Bjorn Olsen. Um, it's um, a little place in uh, Hurum Commune, and uh, it was it was a nice hike. It was about 40 minutes or so, and it's great weather. Not too hot, not too cold. The wind is kind of cold, so right now we're sitting in this little round hut thing that has a big fire pit in the middle. Unfortunately, no fire going at the moment, um, but it's cool. Here, I'll show you this place here. A nice little artistic doorway and whatnot and that's where we're sitting in all alone nobody else is here it's kind of nice um but anyways that's not what i'm here to talk about today i want to let you know about what's going on with my uh sprog praxis um basically it is now a job and i cannot be happier um it's not a hundred percent job or anything like that it's not what they call fast job which means that it's like a permanent job um i am in a position which is called uh, vicar and that's basically a substitute. Um, so if somebody is sick or needs vacation time or they just need extra help, then I'm on call is pretty much how it boils down. Um, but it's really nice. So I, let me backtrack a little bit and I'll let you know how I got to this. So if you didn't see my other video when I started talking about Sprok Praxis, um, you can check that out here. Um, but basically what it is, I took on or I accepted uh, something that was offered to me through the Norwegian courses and it's called Propraxis and that is a language internship at a place of work. So basically you work for free which was the hard part and that kind of threw me off and I didn't really want to get into it because I just couldn't couldn't get into thinking about working for free you know when I really need money because <laughs> it we have, I haven't been making anything for the past uh, wow it's almost two years now that I've been here in Norway so I haven't been making any money um, it's it's I have nothing to really live on except for my wife's income and that's been really tough so I'm just crazy excited that I'm actually getting some money now um, but I wanted to, to kind of do the vlog and let you guys know if you are in Sprok Praxis any of my non Norwegian viewers that are that are in the, the classes um, and you're offered this Sprok Praxis thing take it it is so worth it um, but let me give you some pointers about this because it's not just going to be something that you take Sprok Praxis and all of a sudden you have a job you need to work your butt off you need to work as though you're being paid top dollar show them that you know what you're doing show them that you're willing to work and all of that and you know best case scenario you're going to get a job worst case scenario you're going to get a great attest which is the letter of recommendation so that is going to be valuable it's something you know solid gold to help you get into um a real job afterwards um but at the very very least you're going to get the language experience um you know yeah you can take the classes you can go and get books you can listen to tapes and cds or whatever and you know really get all that type of language skills but you're not learning what it's like to talk in real life um, basically when you're out in public and you're talking to customers or you're just talking to people on at the job, it is a whole new world. Trust me. Um, it's not that it's technically a lot more difficult, um, but it is definitely something that, that you're not prepared for just by taking the region classes. Um, so it's definitely something you need to take. Don't be, um, uh, full of pride like I was or anything like that and say, you know what, I'm not going to do this. I don't want to work for free. It's just stupid. Um, just do it. Trust me. Do it. It's so worth it. Um, also, I, I don't want to, you know, guarantee you anybody that you're going to pick up a job because it really depends on what the people need. If, you know, if you're in a position where you are needed more than you just, just broke practice days, then they're, they might give you something. But Maybe not. So I don't want to go, you know, and get everybody all hyped up and, and feeling that they're going to definitely jump into something. I personally feel like I've been lucky. I, I found a place of work that um, I, I, I'm very familiar with. Um, and then top it off, the people there are amazing. So I, I, I honestly, I just feel very lucky about it. I just, I don't know what to say. I'm very happy um, and very grateful, extremely grateful for what they've done for me. Um, but I wanted to do this vlog and let anybody know, anyone that's out there doing the Norwegian course, if you're offered broke practice, just do it, okay? It's It sounds bad, but it's worth it. So yeah, anyways, about the job, it's, it's really cool. I'm in retail, so that's something I've been familiar with, like I said. And basically, I do a lot of stock, um, you know, uh, putting the, the goods out and things like that. But I also talk to customers and try to help them out and really just do the all-around work as though I was there. The only hard part is the fact that I need to speak Norwegian. Um, 
and it's it's fun. I'm <laughs> I've never thought that I would be so excited to be picking up hours and to be actually getting work and going to work and stuff. It's it's a different experience, that's for sure. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to update you with that to let you know what's been going on. And I know I had a, a week or so that I didn't do any vlogging, uh, anything particular. I had my my tire change thing, which was fun. Um, but I probably should, we should probably get going soon here because it looks like it might start raining shortly here. So we're gonna take off. Um, and yeah, just want to let you know about that. Anyways, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you guys are thinking about Spark Practice, like I said, anybody that's not a Norwegian viewer that's in the classes, if you have any questions about what it is and what it takes and what you need to do, you know, definitely ask them. Leave, leave questions down below. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe because I got something coming up very shortly, probably within this next week here. I'm going to be um, trying some new things new food that not even my wife knows what it is uh, she we've seen it in the stores um, it's a canned something it's it's a meat and veggie something I don't know <laughs> I really don't know what it is but it sounds funny I'll be showing that so I got that video coming up shortly some trying some new food and some other things coming up so don't forget to subscribe again leave those comments down below thumbs up and all that fun stuff and until next time ha de bra